So what is up guys, it's me Kamal Games HD bringing us a brand new video. Now, Sony's whole lineup of E3 has been leaked. Not sure if this is entirely true, so take this with a grain of salt, but the person did this last year and he was correct on every dot. So this might be actually true too. If you guys do not want any spoilers, then so be it, but yeah. So let's get into it. So firstly, Sony's press conference will start with a uncharted three minute trailer showcasing the in-game engine um, footage. Uh, Interspeeded with gameplay segments, visuals will be shown. Uh, they're supposedly unprecedented and will set a benchmark for gaming graphics. Uh, the release date is 2015, uh, summer of 2015, actually. Uh, the game looks absolutely stellar. Now, this is from what somebody has been saying. Um, the time period is in a tropical setting. Um, it differs between Nate and Francis. So, if you guys saw last year when we were uh, getting all these teases of what you know, these pirate looking guys were doing, you guys probably get a good idea of what that's going to look like. Um, there will be Gran Turismo 6 coming to the PS4. It will be at 1080p 60 FPS, really good for me. Uh, repackage the title in a vein of Gran Turismo 7, the prologue. So if you guys play the PS3 version of Gran Turismo, the prologue, you kind of guess where it's going with the whole, yeah. With uh, just showing you a taste of what the game is going to become, but it's the whole game instead. Um, God of War 4 will have a teaser present, um, it will be all CG snippets of in game footage, uh, which does look really interesting. Well, supposedly, here's um, really interesting. Uh, it's really, really early in the design. Uh, this is to basically to offset the negativity surrounding the cancel new IP and generate excitement, and also to partially offset the announcement of the CG Gears of War. Um, Sony's really trying to just make everybody forget about Microsoft at this point in time. Uh, the game is uh, scheduled to be released late 2015, so we're probably not going to see it until 2016, two years from now, uh, due to the fact they say late. That's usually cold word for saying we're not ready yet. It won't be ready for another two years. Um, this was really interesting. Now, a few weeks ago, a few days ago, actually, uh, it was a trademark filed kill strain, and now it's said to be Siphon Filter. Now, if you guys never played Siphon Filter, it was a PSP title and a PlayStation 2 title, um, basically Splinter Cell, but more realistic. Now, it is slated to come out winter of 2014, later this year. Um... It's, yeah, it's basically that. Uh, Wipeout is also making a transition to the PS4, which does look interesting. Uh, I'm pretty interested in that. Now, Quantic Dream. If you guys know what Quantic Dream is, they made Beyond Two Souls, Heavy Rain, etc. Most of the games that you guys know are real, real good at graphics and everything. Let's just put it like that. Um, they are going to show something either at Gamescom or E3. Um, Sony is just watching Microsoft's press. Um, press conference earlier so you'll make sure to know which to you know use either Quantic Dream for E3 or for Gamescom. Either way we're probably gonna see it within a few months. Uh we will expect visuals like the Dark Sorcerer. If you guys have never seen the Dark Sorcerer's gameplay, that shit looks amazing. Uh, it's not gameplay, but more or less a CG showing the power of the PS4 and that is just crazy. So now uh, along along with Ready at Dawn, they will be showing the orders 1860 1886, which does look really interesting. Uh, it will be this uh, stage demo, so we will actually see in-game footage. We already seen in-game footage, but we want to see more of it. Uh, that's really about it for um, that side. Ninja Theory is working on a PS4 exclusive. Uh, it's possibly either a heavy um, heavily sword sequel, which was shelved a few years ago, or we will be seeing a new ninja game, I guess. That, that's basically what the person said. Uh, and then we are going back to Sony London. We'll be at E3. They will show off their first AAA game in many years. Uh, it will be a third person title. Really, like, I just love third person a lot more. The first person has become so overcrowded. So hopefully that doesn't look really bad. Uh, the Gorilla Games, if you guys don't know Gorilla Games, Gorilla Games made, um, fuck, what's their game they made? Uh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I forget their game. I'm probably just going to put it up in an annotation. I forget what the game they made recently. Uh, oh, Red Fraction. They made Red Fraction, which is a really good game. Uh, it will be an RPG game. They will be showing at E3. Uh, the setting that, you know, summary is a provocative setting. Very interesting. The same visuals as usual. A good, a good reaction to the title expected. 
will please the hardcore fans like us. Now, this is where a lot of you guys that like Sucker Punch and Infamous, um, Sucker Punch is busy at work on Infamous Second Son DLC, so a lot of you guys who like um, Infamous are going to be excited for that, and there's going to be really cool new powers, new um, possible setting, so we're probably going to either go somewhere new or just somewhere totally different, and this is where it gets kind of to the final part. Sony Japan Studios will be debuting two new, even maybe even three new titles. Um, one of them is Project Beast, the spiritual successor to Demon Souls. Um, Dark Souls just came out not too long ago. So I'm really interested in seeing how that goes because if you guys do not know, Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 was not developed by Studio Japan as Demon Souls was developed by, obviously, Studio Japan. Now, The Last Guardian is also coming to the PS4. Now, you guys might remember I was talking about The Last Guardian not too long ago. Uh, this is supposedly uh, coming out this winter of 2014, about freaking time, because they announced it back in 2006, 2007, seven years later. And, of course, we will finally get to see some Drive Club, as everybody's been waiting for that game. And that's about it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate and subscribe. I had to do this really quick so I had to go do some things. But as always, thanks for watching, guys. Share with your friends. And I can't wait to see what happens at E3. And I will be doing coverage of it. And I will be doing a walkthrough of Watch Dogs and giving away Destiny codes in the coming days to weeks. So, peace.